Merry meet everyone. Uh, this morning um, I'm here a little bit early at work so I wanted to do a couple videos uh, before I actually start my work day and the first one I wanted to do was talk or the first couple I wanted to do actually is um, talking about some energetic techniques um, from uh, Hands-On Chaos Magic by Andre Vitimus. Um, the first one is the Patronus Charm. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to read um, the section in here. Um, the section that's kind of like doing step by steps on what to do to create your own Patronus Charm to use for banishing. Um, excuse me. Um, and then if you guys want me to, I can create a, um, a type out step by step. Um, I just thought it would be easier to read it. Um, and I'll try to go slow and not speed through my words like I usually do. So, excuse me. All right, so the Patronus Charm is a banishing from J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter series, particularly important in Prisoner of Azkaban. The method I am going to use is heavily adapted because magic seems to work slightly different in our world than in the Harry Potter world. The first step is to breathe deeply a few times. Regardless of what is going on around you, as you relax, switch your breathing to reversed Taoist breathing described earlier. Um, simply expand your chest and diaphragm when you are breathing out and contract your chest and back and diaphragm when you are breathing in. Feel the chi energy flowing into your body, ignore anything around you, and begin to focus solely on an extremely positive memory. Try to bring as many sensory details of the experience into conscious view as you feel your body filling up with energy from the memory and the breathing. When it feels, uh, when it feels like you cannot pull any more energy from the breathing and the memory overwhelms you, you point your wand towards the target you desire to banish, and on the exhalation, loudly shout, Expecto Patronum. Visualize, feel, and hear the energy in your body rapidly leaving through your wand. At the tip of your wand, see and feel a guardian form rapidly, extending out from you. Alright, that's the, that's the whole idea of using it with your wand. Um, I'm going to continue to read, there's a little bit more. Um, so yeah, let's go that. Right. In the context of Harry Potter, each person has a different Patronus. You will have to experiment and try to find what guardian shape seems to work best for you. Uh, the author says his Patronus is a dragon. Here's another interesting technique for it. You can do this without a wand as well, and this is how I usually do this exercise. Start with your arms in front of you and bring your hands together. Have both palms touching in a tensed position, and draw your hands back to one side of your body. As you are breathing and experiencing your memory, continue to sense your arms tense. Continue to tense your arms as if you are about to release an explosive amount of energy. Try to imagine with all your senses that what would be associated with an explosive amount of positive energy. When you are ready, extend your arms forward, palms still connected in a forceful striking way while screaming expecto patronum in parentheses he has which is which for latin buffs out there roughly translate to summon my guardian but rowling doesn't officially know any occult things right <laughs> i thought that was kind of funny um at the end of your extended arms visualize your patronus appearing from the energy you have put out this is a motion from the kamehameha way from Goku of Dragon Ball Z. Yes, I was quite serious that anything can be used for magic. So yeah, I thought that was interesting. It's taking, um, he takes like a, with that he takes a lot of popular images and a popular, I guess, theories or outlooks on uh, magic, but uses like things from anime or Harry Potter or things like that. Um, I just wanted to share that with you guys this morning. I'm probably also going to post something about um, summoning energy like through ener energy balls and exercise like that. 
Um, I hope you guys have an awesome day, and I will see you guys back in a second. <laughs> Many blessings.